Welcome to the SMB Community Podcast with hosts Amy Babinchek, James Kernan, and Carl Polachek. Produced by Kernan Consulting and for the international MSP community, we are dedicated to making every IT professional a successful IT professional. The SMB Community Podcast is sponsored by Kernan Consulting and the Millionaire Mastermind Peer Groups. If you're looking for a small, more intimate growth group that will help you with your strategic planning, sales and marketing, and helping hold you accountable in a professional but fun way, then come check out the Millionaire Mastermind Peer Groups, mmpeergroups.com for more information. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the SMB Community Podcast. This is James Kernan with Kernan Consulting Live. And here with you today to go over several key things that uh, have been going on in the industry over the last couple of weeks. So um, I guess first and foremost, I wanted to talk about events. And do you prefer bigger events or smaller events? And we've talked about that before on the podcast. <clears throat> and it kind of seems like there's mixed reviews. You know, historically, I would have answered, I like the larger events. They typically have a little bit more amenities and more perks that come along with it. But uh, I guess over time, over the past few years, I've really grown to really appreciate the smaller events, the more intimate events where you meet people, you network, you get more things done. And those can be just as fun and exciting with all the amenities and excursions and all that other fun group activity as well. And why I bring that up, there was a couple events. <clears throat> so I got back from a mastermind event it was about 50 people. It was awesome. Fantastic time in Scottsdale, Arizona. That was to me a perfect size between, you know, 50, 100 right in there, I think is good. There was another event last week I've heard good things about our friend Lori uh, that puts together the ITO Compass. She had her event up in Chicago, heard good things about that. Okay. That was in that same size uh, of event as well. Now, I also heard uh, great things <clears throat> about the DadoCon event. And DadoCon, uh, as you know, was a huge event and lots of vendors, lots of people there, but also lots of reports of COVID. <laughs> and uh, that was a bummer. Uh, I don't know if you've heard anything, but uh, I don't know what it is about those big events, but it always kind of seems like I heard that at ChannelCon uh, as well you know, CompTIA's big event in Las Vegas. So anyway, just wanted to um, get your opinion. What do you prefer, the bigger events or the smaller events? Love to hear from you. So go ahead and submit your comment to james at kernanconsulting.com or just turn right around and, and you can submit your comments up on the smbcommunitypodcast.com. So believe it or not, that was not the question of the week. I just, it was a topic that I wanted to bring up and ask. The MSP question of the week that came in, this is a tough one, and I wish I had multiple co-hosts to help me with this one, but I'm pretty well versed of, of how to respond. But it's a great question. The question is about MSP packaging and pricing. Should I have one offering or multiple offerings? And what is your recommendation price per seat or price per user uh, or, or computer, you know, price per user or computer. Uh, I think they worded it wrong. But um, anyway, so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on packaging and pricing? So let me go to packaging first. So I am a fan that I like having options, okay? I like creating what's called the wedge where I have a high, a medium, and a low price based on the customer's needs as a consultant, I would tell them what I would recommend. You always do that. You know, that's that's our professional opinions. That's why they're coming to us in the first place, right? So after all your questions, hopefully after your assessment, then you propose your package to them. That kind of sounded funny, by the way. But it's either kind of high, medium, or low. And then you can give them that those options and you, you want the prospect to kind of be nodding their head up and down like, OK, that fits inside my budget instead of the other side of the camp. People say, nope, one size fits all. It's only 
my all you can eat plan. I know they need all this stuff and that's the only one I'm going to sell. And I completely disagree with that because one size doesn't fit all. Granted, maybe they should be doing all those services, but some people can't afford it. And I'd rather bring them on as a client and educate them and then upsell them instead of losing out in the very beginning. So the two-part question, my answer on the first part is I like having options, a good, better, best, okay? And the good, I have an exercise if anybody wants to go through it. It's a calculator, an MSP calculator that will help you determine what your packaging and pricing should be. Uh, so just email me at james at kernanconsulting.com. Just say you want the MSP. Uh, it's actually the MSP comparison chart exercise is what it's called. And uh, it'll help you with your packaging and pricing. The, the first package, the simple one, would just be the remote monitoring and management. Okay. Normally, the middle package has the RMM component plus uh, remote support. And then normally, the high-end offering has all the above plus the uh, the uh, reactive support and on-site. And then uh, another option you would add would be the security stack on top of all the above. And I'll talk about that in a minute next. So, so that's part one. Part two of the question was, what should your pricing be? Do you want to price it like per computer or do you want to price it for, per user? For, for me, just to keep it simple, I like having a per user price. You turn right around and uh, people, you know, you have to just size it up properly. You know, there might be an organization that has 100 people, but only 25 computers. Okay. And, um, you know, you can create profiles and we can argue all day long on, on which one's better. You just need to take a look at that. Normally, in my 30 years experience in the industry, most of the time, most of the businesses are going to be pretty close to the number of users and the number of computers. So I would just take the number of users and then have a number from that. Normally what I see is a range for your good, better, best, that, that higher end package where it includes on site. I would say I see between $125 and $175 per seat, okay, per seat uh, per month. Okay, you add your cybersecurity stack, any client that falls into government regulation because of their industry type or they're concerned about cybersecurity, which everybody should be, you easily are going to add another $50 to $100 per seat on that. Okay, so you're all in with your security stack, could be upwards of $275 or more uh, if you've got hardware as a service as well. So there's lots of options on that. That's why I think it's important that you keep it simple for the client. You can't confuse them because everybody, what happens when you confuse a prospect? Are they going to buy from you? Yes or no? The answer is no. They're not going to buy from you because they don't understand what your offering is. So keep it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, so <clears throat> again, I have an exercise if you're interested in that, but check that out. Those are the numbers and of what I see based on your geography. I didn't really go into that. I work with MSPs all around the world. So based on your geography and the competitiveness of, of what um, is in your marketplace and then how sophisticated your offering is, those are some ranges that I see across the board, okay? But use that as a rule of thumb. Your pricing should fall inside that range, all right? So a couple other cool things going on. Friendly reminder, uh, by the time this airs, we're midway through Cybersecurity Month. So I want to challenge everybody, what are you doing to market your business during Cybersecurity Month? Most all of you listening in should have some type of security service that you're offering your customers. It's a no-brainer to be marketing those services, uh, best practices, what you should be doing this month in Cybersecurity Month. Okay, so just a comment. Um, something else that came up in the peer groups, I wanted to just mention to you how many of you have had in the last 12 months, recent headshots or photos of yourself, uh, or your colleagues and your business, or maybe an updated video on your business. So we talked about that quite a bit and just industry best practices. You should be doing that every year. Okay. I know that's hard for some of you. Uh, you don't have to spend a gazillion dollars. Just get updated photos, professional photos. 
that you could repurpose in your marketing, your website, social media. More and more of you are doing a lot more on social media and just get updated headshots and updated video on what the business is doing uh, to make you look as professional and as uh, that, that credible expert in your local marketplace. And updated headshots, professional ones, uh, are important. Okay, so get um, get that taken care of uh, on a regular basis. And then what's coming up, I have a couple things coming up, and there's so many great events coming up, it's hard to pick and choose. Again, I like the smaller ones where uh, it's, it's more of an, I don't know, like an experience where there's a lot more activities going on other than just a couple educational workshops, and then everybody leaves and there's no networking opportunities. I like the networking opportunities. I like harbor cruises. I like um, just fun events where you can all get together and break bread. Uh, to me, that's where the relationships, uh, that's the most important part of, of those events to me. But there's two events coming up. One, there's a Kernan Mastermind Roadshow, Newport Beach, California, December 7th and 8th. I'll drop the link in the site. Uh, just based on supply and demand, uh, if you want the early bird discount, uh, there's a coupon code in the emails and in the show notes. It's called early bird, all one word in all caps. That will get you the special $99 price to get in there, but it includes all the food and entertainment for two days. And those events are a blast. So uh, be sure to check that out. There's another event that's a new event uh, sponsored by Fornix Marketing. A lot of security vendors there. I'm speaking at it as well on sales process but it's an MSSP sales and marketing workshop. Listen to this, you guys. It's in Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> Who doesn't want to go to Honolulu in January? Uh, first of all, the weather is amazing for you Midwesterns that are freezing your tail off like I am uh, in mid-January. Uh, but it's also one of the most inexpensive times to go to Hawaii is in January. So that's why that organization was putting that together. That also is going to have an experience. I think there's going to be a luau and some other fun activities. So it might be something you take your spouse uh, or friend or family. Um, I know I am. So, all right. So that is it on the big events. If you want to look deeper into, there's tons and tons of other events throughout the rest of the year. Check out Carl Polachek's SMB community newsletter. He does a great job of gathering the events and uh, you can check out whatever one maybe is, is close to you in your locale or some that you want to go check out like, uh, like ours. So, all right, that is going to be it for today's SMB community podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I want to hear from you guys. If you've got questions, just submit your questions or comments on smbcommunitypodcast.com website, or you could just email, reach out to me anytime, james at kernanconsulting.com. I'd love to hear from you guys. Give me ideas on what you want to learn about. Uh, we take questions of the week that way. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you, okay? Until next time, have a great day and fire up, everybody. Take care. 